Hello everyone. Today we are going to have a discussion on the, the tool Bugzilla. It's uh, how to use the Bugzilla tool. But before that, I will just give an intro of what Bugzilla is. Bugzilla is a defect tracking system or a bug tracking system. Defect tracking system allows the individual or groups of developers to keep track of outstanding bugs in their product effectively. Most commercial defect tracking software vendors charge enormous licensing fees. Despite being free, Bugzilla has many features its expensive counterparts lack. Consequently, Bugzilla has become a favorite of hundreds of organizations across the globe. So what does actually the Bugzilla do? It has major features like it tracks bugs and code changes, communicates with teammates, submit and uh, review patches, and the most important thing is that it, man it manages the quality assurance. Bugzilla can help you get a handle on the software development process. Successful projects often are the result of successful organization and communication. Bugzilla is a powerful tool that will help your team get organized and communicate effectively. So, now the next question in your mind would be, why should we actually use Bugzilla? So, like many companies are finding that Bugzilla helps reduce downtime, increase productivity, which is a major important thing, raise customer satisfaction, and improve communication. Bugzilla can also help reduce costs by providing IT support, accountability, telephone support knowledge bases, and keeping tabs on unusual system or software issues. Bugzilla can do the same for your organization regardless of its size. So it's possible uses. The possible uses of Bugzilla can be stated as like in the system administration, deployment management, chip design and development problem tracking. Both it can be used both for the pre and post fabrication operations. Then its applications are also in the software and hardware industries and also in IT support queues. So now let's see how we use or how a user can use the Bugzilla software. So usually the system administrator will set up the server address. Now what he has to do is just he'll be provided or the user will be provided an uh, address where he has to log into. So you can see the Bugzilla main page here. So the most common actions by using the Bugzilla tool you can see like search existing bug reports, enter a new bug report and also you can view the summary of the bugs reported and you can view the charts of the same. Though, so first of all the user will be provided with a login and a password. So I'll show you as of a user how he can log on to Bugzilla. So we have a user ID as tuser152 at gmail.com now he'll be assigned a password also so he has to log into it now he what he can do is so then now the user is t user 152 now he can he has different options like he can search for existing bugs or he can enter a new bug so I'll just enter a new bug so what next you can see is there would be a product and certain components of the same products like usually in a, a company you will have a product for which you have to report bugs frequently you have to see verify your product and see whether there is any problem or defect in your product so for that purpose in your Bugzilla tool will be defining all the products and its sub components so that each component of the particular product would be being assigned to different users 
and there would be a bugzilla manager who will actually file bug report against these users if he finds any defect in the particular component so you can see that we have a product here usb 2.0 device controller and uh, we have sub components and you can see the component description along the same line of each component so what the bug reporter or the, or the user t user 152 has to do is select the particular uh, particular component and he has to report the bug now here the version is written of the particular component now he can set the severity level also there are different options as you can see like enhancement trivial minor normal major critical and final one is the blocker so he can set the severity level of the particular bug which he feels like enhancement is to just uh, enhance a particular feature and it is not that important or that much critical as far as the project is concerned so if he sets as he goes up the priority or the severity level of the particular bug increases so if he sets the particular bug as a blocker it becomes critical and that particular assignee becomes the blocker of the particular product so depending on the particular severity level of that particular bug he has to set the different options it can be major minor normal or anything so I'm setting it as normal now you can the user can also set the platform maybe it a PC Macintosh or other so next option is like the OS which he is currently using it can be Linux Macintosh or Windows operating system right now we're using Windows so we can select based on that final thing is a priority priority of the bug it can be maximum of P1 or it can be P5 so we have made set the priority also